all right guys welcome back to my channel guys welcome welcome as you see in front of you we are getting ready to make and can some tomatoes first of all i gotta give an honor to god who's the head of my life and i hope you guys out there is blessed and highly favored so let me show you what i got going on right here i put all my roman potatoes here in the sink right here so i can wash and clean those up really really quickly I have my jars over here that I'm going to be washing off. My hands done been in and out of water, you know, so much, but that's okay. So we're going to get our jars washed up. I hope we can get that's uh, 15 jars. Those other two don't count over there. And over here, I have everything. I have my water bath canner right here. The water is on and that is getting hot, staying hot. And so once I wash all my jars, I'm going to put them in there and let them sterilize. And this right here, we're going to turn this on to uh, blanch our tomatoes here. So I have everything sitting right here that I need to start this. I have to put my lids in here. Let me see is that no. Let me put that back on the stove here. It was hot. <laughs> but I'm going to put that back on the stove over here. And let bring that to a ball so I can put my lids in. So, let's get started cleaning and washing our tomatoes. So, stay tuned, guys. Alright, guys. I got my warm to warm water running here. And all I'm just going to do is get make sure they're all washed up like so. So, and I'm going to drop them on the other side of the sink here. So we got to make sure they wash really, really good. Get all that dirt off of them. You got to remember these was in a garden. So uh, nice, fresh tomatoes. Just sometime I would use a paper towel, <laughs> but this is okay because these are these are fairly pretty clean. So. Let me put them on a little cooler water. Okay. So, yeah, guys, this is what we're going to do. You know, I like uh, doing this, like I said, uh, before in one of my videos. You know, God wants us to go back to basics. So, hey, if you want to learn how to start canning, it is very, very easy to do. And, um, hey... With the way things going in this world, I think we all better do something so we can uh, survive for whatever comes. So, I'm going to get all these tomatoes washed up. And then when I'm done washing all these tomatoes up, we're going to go to the next step. Because it's a lot of uh, steps to this. Very simple, but a lot of steps to this. So, I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. Right now, what we're going to do, I put several tomatoes in my strainer. And I am going to just drop them in here like so. And I'm going to let that sit for about maybe a minute, a minute and a half. Something like that. Let me get a couple more because I do have quite a few tomatoes i don't want to go overboard on my water so that's good right there i have quite a few tomatoes to uh blanch so i want to hurry up and uh, yeah take those off so while that's sitting there for a minute i have my ice water bath right here and this is what I'm going to put my two, once they come out of here, I'm putting them in here to stop the cooking process. I can turn that off now. Okay, now in this pot, I use boiling, I mean bottled water for that because if I need any water to pour in my jars, that will be it because we're going to do a raw pack. I mean, a cold, something like a cold pack. And then we're going to add hot water to the jars, then put them in a the, uh, water bath canner, and then um, let them do their thing. But right here, just letting them get, you know, 
letting them get their little thing on. Let me turn that back up a little bit. I just want them to sit in here for a minute. And when the skin start cracking or whatever, you it'll let me know. So, stay tuned, guys. Be right back. All right, guys. Let me show you what they need to look like before you take them out. They The skin is going to crack like that. So that's exactly how you want these uh, to look. Sorry about my hands. They are in and out of water. So I'm not going to put no, I don't want no lotion on my uh, tomatoes or nothing. So forgive me about that. So we're going to just start putting those in there to stop the cooking process. I'm just looking around and see if any more of the skins are cracked on these and the ones that is, I like to put them in there. Uh, the skins will come off fairly, you know, easy. Just because uh, a couple of them I put in like a couple of seconds later. So I just want to make sure those get uh, start cracking too. So I'm going to let those uh, finish cooking. Let that stop that cooking process there. Oh, yes, that looks good. And this is basically what I'm going to do. Start peeling that skin off like so and then we're gonna be we're gonna end up with a beautiful beautiful tomato yeah they can boil just a little bit more yes they can so i'm gonna throw now you can save uh these and make other stuff with them but right now i'm going to toss mine because i don't have a uh dehydrator yet I will be investing in one of those very, very, very soon here. So, guys, just say, like I say, I love canning, guys. And it's, it's like I said, it's very, very simple. And then what I love about it, you putting in, you know what's in your, in your product. You know exactly what's in it. There's no chemicals. Tomatoes was freshly grown you know everything come out the garden oh my god guys come on you can't beat that with an egg beater so start canning your food out there guys believe me it's gonna come in handy later on so i will get back with you when we get ready to go to the next step so stay tuned all right guys i am back with the second step and that second step is i done already started taking the skins off of them that's these right here because i have a lot a quite a lot to go through now this is uh where you're gonna have to be patient at and and do one tomato at a time taking the skins off like so and i am i wish i could keep this but i do not have a dehydrator and i do not know how to hydrate them too much in the oven so, I don't know about that one. Anybody out there know how to dehydrate them in the oven? Put it down in the comment box, guys. Let me know. Let me know. So, just peeling that. You could do it with your finger also. I just, the knife is really, you know, helpful to me. So, it, it comes off with you. Just, you could just peel it right off the the skin but this is this the only thing that is time consuming is uh taking the skin off the tomato now i don't core them since they you know roman tomatoes i just uh cut the cut the end off like so just keep peeling it until it's done until all of them are done some of them come off fairly easy, and some of them you have to uh, tassel with. But for the majority of the time, they usually come off pretty, pretty easy. Let's see. Yep, that is off. So let's cut off the bottom. And here we go. This is a little funny shaped odd one right here. I'm gonna cut that off. Let's see, get that peeled off. 
So I'm not going to hold you guys while I'm doing this. This is a process right here. This is going to take me maybe 30 minutes, probably less than that, to get all of these done here. I hope I can get 15 cans out of here. Now that I'm uh, breaking the tomatoes down, I don't know. This is a half a box of uh, those tomatoes. Because the other half I have in my refrigerator that I'm just going to do something else with. Because I want to get some quart sized jars and I want to make some uh, sauce. With these, I'm only doing diced tomatoes because I buy tons of diced tomatoes. So, with me doing my tomatoes like this, I don't have to buy no more diced tomatoes. So, that's a blessing for me. Yeah, I cook with a lot of diced tomatoes. So, that's what I'm doing with these. Dicing them up, throwing them in the jar, water bath them. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. All right, guys, I'm not going to keep yet. I'm going to go ahead and finish this. And I will get back with you. Let me wrench my hands off. But seriously, guys, if you know how to uh, dry these leaves, these skins in the uh, oven, let me know. Put it down in the comment box, guys. I would love to know until I get a, a dehydrator. I'm not doing too bad, too bad. Because there was a lot of tomatoes, and I, actually, I got quite a bit done there. So, i see you guys in the next step. All right, guys. I am back, and this is the another step i'm getting all my jars together i always try to wash my jars and then put them in my canner and then let them sterilize once again so i get them clean with some nice hot soapy water because when you buy them out the store you don't know who hands been and what so yes it's like me cleaning my jars twice so that's what I'm doing right now. So that was the last one. I have all of them sitting right here. And now what I'm gonna do is put them in my water can, water can container and let them sit for about five minutes. And then I can get my tomatoes cut up, put it in my pot. I was going to cold pack these, but nope. I'm going to just heat my tomatoes up. You guys will see. So stay tuned. I'm finna put these, my clean jars, into my water can bath. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Here we go. I put my jars into my uh, water can bath. Water is filled to the top. Sterilize them for a couple of minutes. Now I'm getting ready to. We're getting ready to move you guys over here and. I am getting ready to cut up my tomatoes and get them into my pot really fast. So, yes, this is what I got out of all of those tomatoes. There. Just, just want to give them a, just a rough cut. Like so. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to let you guys see me just cut up the whole thing. This It, it takes a little patience. I'm going to tell you that now. The patience come in with the filling, um, taking off the skin, basically. So you don't have to be, you know, cut them up pretty or whatever. You know, just cut them up because we're going to cook them for five minutes and if you want to put a little bit of seasoning in here uh, to your taste right now, the way I'm going to make mine is I may put just a hint of a little bit of seasoning in here, which I will show you guys. And then we're going to turn the pot up just a little bit, enough to get them heated. And then we're going to put them in our jars. That's what we're going to do. So 
I'm going to get all these cut up like so. It's just like uh, doing a cold pack, but this is going to be a hot pack. The reason why I want to do it this way, because I, you know, I don't, it still may separate a little bit, but I would have less separation with the hot, uh, with the hot pack. And then I want everything in its juices. Look at all that juice, guys. That is an awful lot of juice in these tomatoes. I don't have my pot on just yet. I don't want to turn it on until I get all of these tomatoes cut up. Oh, yes. All right, stay tuned. Let me get all these cut up, and I will be right back. All right, guys, got them all cut up. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough jars to jar all of this, but we will see. And if not, I will just make... um some sauce tomorrow well put the rest in the refrigerator go buy some more jars and then uh probably have to cold pack those but i have a little bit of juice in here i'm just putting in a little bit at a time because we already filled up and the rest of this juice i probably can get a little uh some tomato juice out of this so i'm going to save that and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to get some oregano and I'm going to put a little bit of oregano in here. A real light seasoning, about like a handful, like so. Just a light dusting. Dusting. <laughs> because I'm going to put the salt and the lemon juice in my jars. So, just a light. Because these once these flavors do get intense once they're in jars. So, you don't want to put that much in there. I think that's enough. So that's about it. I'm going to stir this up until it maybe five, six minutes. I will turn the eye off and then we will start putting this in our jars, guys. So, yes, this is a long video. This is patience. You got to have patience to do this, guys. If you don't have no patience, don't even uh, look that way. Don't even go that way. Keep on buying your stuff in the can <laughs> but hey it doesn't bother me none whatsoever so stay tuned guys we'll be right back all right guys while that is heating up i just got a regular one of my regular jars that i uh, washed out and i am going to strain this right here hope i'm in frame and so I can get the seeds and everything out of it. And then I'm going to put this. Oh my goodness, I'm running over. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Let me get a spoon. Stay right there. Let me get something to, to uh, Keep putting this juice in here. Yeah, it's a messy job. I should have did this in my uh, sink. I've been staying clean all the while. First time I spilled something, guys. That's okay. Let's move it right along. And I'm going to put this in my refrigerator and use it, you know, 
No telling what I use it for. But it will hold up for about a week. Alrighty. Here we go right there. Now we have us some tomato juice. No seeds in it. Hold on. So, all right, there we go. Put the top on it, and we're going to refrigerate this, guys. No telling what I use this for. I can even use it in recipes. So, all right, stay tuned, guys. All righty, let's get this uh, bottled up. Now, what I'm going to do next is take a half a teaspoonful of pink Himalaya salt, and I'm going to put a half a teaspoon in each jar like so. And I'm going to take some lemon juice, and I'm going to put one teaspoon in each jar. Okay. There we go. That is that. I'm going to do two jars at a time because I want my jars to stay pretty much hot. Okay, and this is pretty much hot. Now, we let this cook for about five, six minutes. And it's pretty, pretty much hot. Okay, now I'm going to get my funnel here so we won't be dropping everything all over the place. And we're just going to push this in like so. Just like this. Let's see what that doing. Okay. Probably went a little bit over there, but that's okay. I'll take some of that out. Let's get the other bottle filled up here. Yeah, this is my little mate chef uh, <laughs> funnel. I have to go and uh, purchase one, but that's okay. It works. It does the job. So I'm not going to complain. All right. There we go right there. All right. Let's see. Can I get this pushed down in here? Let me get a spoon. First of all, I want to go around here and debubble. Get the, any bubbles out that should, might be in there. Just go in it with this little stick I have here. And then that levels the water out. And I see how much I have. I'm going to pour a little bit off of this one right here. Because that's a little bit... Uh, There, let's put some of this back in the pot. So we want like a inch of head space up here. That's like right in the middle of your jars here. You don't want too much because you don't want it to start leaking out the uh, jars when, when they're in the water bath container. So just take it down a little bit here. Okay, good enough. Got that debubbled pretty good. Make sure, let's just debubble it one more time. And now, I'm going to get me a napkin, a piece of paper towel. And I'm using white vinegar <laughs> so I'm just going to pour a little bit in a uh, container I should have had this ready but I didn't so we have our vinegar mix right here I'm going to set this up here that off like so bring it out and 
we're going to make sure these lids are very, very clean. Now, this part is very important, guys. You want to make sure this is very clean here. Make sure there's no cuts or anything on the rim of your glass. Anything will mess that seal up for sure. So we're just going to go around it like so. Make sure it's cleaned all the way around. I don't like to play with that there. And we're going to, let's see, is the water cool enough? Yep. And we're going to put our lids on like that. Make sure they center. We're going to get our two rings right here and we're going to screw them on not too tight just where you where you will feel the resistance at basically then now we're going to set these that is beautiful guys that is simply beautiful so we're going to set these in our water bath canner First of all, let's take out two more jars. going to keep going with that so that's how i'm going to can up i hope i can can up all of them but if not we will see what we have left so stay tuned guys all right guys here we go i got them all bottled up they are uh cooled down but they're all done oh that was a process but i hope you guys enjoyed the video like i always say keep your head up Keep the faith and stay safe out there, guys. And I will connect with you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.